The Sanyasi Rebellion or Sanyasi Revolt Bengali, Sanyasi Bidroha the Monk's Rebellion were the activities of sannyasis and fakirs Hindu and Muslim ascetics, respectively in Bengal against the East India Company rule in the late 18th century. It is also known as the Sanyasi Rebellion Sanyasi Bidroha which took place around Murshidabad and Bakanthupur forests of Jalpaiguri. Historians have not only debated what events constitute the rebellion, but have also varied on the significance of the rebellion in Indian history. While some refer to it as an early war for India's independence from foreign rule, since the right to collect tax had been given to the British East India Company after the Battle of Buxar in 1764, others categorize it as acts of violent banditry following the depopulation of the province in the Bengal Famine of 1770. Early events At least three separate events are called the Sannyasi Rebellion. One refers to a large body of Hindu sannyasis who travelled from North India to different parts of Bengal to visit shrines. En route to the shrines, it was customary for many of these ascetics to exact a religious tax from the headmen and zamindars or regional landlords. In times of prosperity, the headmen and zamindars generally obliged. However, since the East India Company had received the Diwani or right to collect the tax, many of the tax demands increased and the local landlords and headmen were unable to pay both the ascetics and the English. Crop failures, and famine, which killed 10 million people or an estimated one-third of the population of Bengal compounded the problems since much of the arable land lay fallow. Majnan Shah, the leader of a large group of fakirs who were travelling through Bengal, claimed in 1772 that 150 of them had been killed without cause in the previous year. Such repression was one of the reasons that caused distress leading to violence, especially in Natori in Rangpur, now in modern Bangladesh. However, some modern historians argue that the movement never gained popular support. The other two movements involved a sect of Hindu ascetics, the Dasnami Naga Sannyasis, who likewise visited Bengal on pilgrimage mixed with moneylending opportunities. To the British, these ascetics were looters and must be stopped from collecting money that belonged to the company and possibly from even entering the province. It was felt that a large body of people on the move was a possible threat. Clashes between the company and ascetics When the company's forces tried to prevent the sannyasis and fakirs from entering the province or from collecting their money in the last three decades of the 18th century, fierce clashes often ensued, with the company's forces not always victorious. Most of the clashes were recorded in the years following the famine but they continued, albeit with a lesser frequency, up until 1802. The reason that even with superior training and forces, the company was not able to suppress sporadic clashes with migrating ascetics was that the control of the company's forces in the far-removed hilly and jungle-covered districts like Burbam and Midnapore on local events was weak. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy The Sanyasi Rebellion was the first of a series of revolts and rebellions in the western districts of the province including but not restricted to the Chur Revolt of 1799 and the Santhal Revolt of 1855-56. What effect the Sanyasi Rebellion had on rebellions that followed is debatable. Perhaps, the best reminder of the rebellion is in literature, in the Bengali novel Anandamath, written by India's first modern novelist Bankam Chandra Chatterjee. The song, Vand Mataram, which was written in 1876, was used in the book Anandamath in 1882 pronounced Anandamath in Bengali and the 1952 movie based on the book. Vand Mataram was later declared to be India's national song not to be confused with the Indian national anthem. 